Is the Arizona Attorney General's office taking the investigation into the Pima County Sheriff's money laundering scandal seriously? We've learned that Sheriff Mark Napier has told some staff that the Attorney General didn't want to touch this case. But is that true? Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Guy Ashley. And I'm Stella Inger. We have secret audio recordings that capture Napier speaking candidly with a lieutenant about the AG probe. Nine on your side, investigative reporter Valerie Cavazos joins us now. And Valerie, how did you get these recordings? Well, the audio recordings came from Joseph Cameron, the lieutenant who spoke with Napier a couple of times after the sheriff asked for a state investigation. Cameron came forward to us because he says he wants everyone who knowingly misused the RICO funds to to be held accountable, and that could include his friends, former sheriffs Chris Nanos, Clarence Dupnik, and also Chief Deputy Chris Rackey, uh, who all could face state charges in this money laundering scandal that spanned two decades. Joseph Cameron is a veteran cop, 30 years as a law enforcement officer in the Pima County Sheriff's Department, most of his time spent on patrol, but now he's in charge of records. He says he's viewed the same documents we've obtained in the RICO case. Our investigation exposed widespread misuse of the funds within the department. What bothers me is the hypocrisy that I see going on that there are still people here that were involved in it and had knowledge. Cameron says he felt compelled to speak up. So in July, Cameron pulled Napier aside to talk about the RICO case. That I wanted to be interviewed by the attorney general's office and I wanted a straight up investigation and, and whichever way it went was fine with me. Napier told Cameron, who had his cell phone recording in his pocket, the only reason the attorney general, Mark Burnovich, is looking into the RICO case is because Napier personally asked him to. Listen to what Napier says next. They had no intention, nor do they have any desire. Right. In fact, they think it's silly. Napier told Cameron the attorney general explained to him the FBI investigates this type of public corruption. I, I mean, I look a little bit stupid, honestly, for even asking him. He did say that on tape, didn't he? And, and my response to that is, I've been around a long time. It makes me wonder how motivated he really is to go forward with this. He told me on tape that he knew that his chiefs did not follow the rules. They admit to me that. Now, whether that's criminal or administratively bad. Napier's current chiefs are Byron Gwaltney, Carl Woolrich, and Deanna Johnson. Now listen to what Napier told Cameron. A lot of people here did not follow the rules. I am positive of that. All of my chiefs didn't follow the rules. Many captains didn't follow the rules. That is absolutely crystal clear. What's not clear is whether he pointed that out to the attorney general. Napier says in the recordings, the attorney general asked him why he wanted an investigation if he believed the FBI did a thorough job. Then what are you asking us to do? Well, that's a fair question. It is. I mean, the attorney general looks at me like I'm a three-headed monkey. Why are you doing this, Sheriff? Um, this is asked and answered, man. Napier called into the James T. Harris radio show and said he asked the Arizona Sheriff's Association to back him up on the need for a state review. Again, encouraging an in-depth investigation into this very matter. I reached out to the Attorney General's office about Napier's statements on the audio recordings and received this response from Mark Burnovich. It's well known that Sheriff Napier, the Arizona Sheriff's Association, and a state lawmaker requested that the Attorney General's office conduct an independent review. I can assure you that allegations of possible public corruption are always taken seriously, and any claim or suggestion otherwise is ludicrous. There's nothing more we can add because this office does not comment on ongoing investigations. Do you think that the Attorney General, the office, is taking this money laundering case seriously? I want to hope so. Meantime, Cameron says he's bracing for the worst by coming forward with the audio recordings. What do you think is going to happen? I believe that I'm going to be retaliated against. I believe. Do you think there, you're going to be fired? Uh, there's a possibility. Yeah, strong possibility. I could be demoted. I reached out to Sheriff Napier after I received the recording of his conversations with the Attorney General. He declined 
saying he wouldn't talk until after the investigation. I offered him another opportunity again today. This time he responded, I am absolutely confident that the Attorney General is taking the review very seriously and has allocated appropriate resources to it. It would not be appropriate for me or any member of the Pima County Sheriff's Department to discuss the matter during the ongoing review by the Attorney General's office. And Guy and Stella, we have his full statement on the website. And Valerie, you're still going through thousands and thousands of pages of documents, right? Yeah, coming up at 10, there's a lot to analyze. I just received a memo, a new memo, um, that Sheriff Napier didn't know about and possibly may not be in the hands of the FBI. That's coming up at 10 o'clock. Okay, Valerie, thank you. Mm -hmm.